Hello YouTube, this is Jean and welcome to CryptoPix. Today I'm discussing three coins that I believe have big things coming in October. First one, which I've mentioned before, is No Limit Coin. So No Limit Coin has a few big things happening in September. No, sorry, the end of September and into October. If you scroll down to their timeline slash roadmap, you can see that at late September, which is coming up, they're doing the new user interface design. Uh, I think this is definitely needed. So I don't know if you saw my other videos, but you can see that their old interface was lackluster and seems super rushed. So this is something they definitely need to address and hopefully do a great job in upgrading. So advertising campaign also begins late September. They're going to do this after they launch their user interface on their platform. Uh, so they're going to begin a large advertising campaign on many digital channels and also some TV adverts to directly target the Fantasy Force players. Use the Redskin quarterback Joe Teisman and the professional poker player Johnny Chan. Hopefully these these celebrities help push the name No Limit Coin to a more reputable audience. Maybe maybe actually push him to the next step. After that, they have a hockey launch. I don't think this will be such a big thing. I don't really see hockey as being big in the fantasy sports. Uh, and then finally, they'll be doing their upgraded wallet, which is something they they also need. They'll be adding additional features and improvements. Now, if you scroll down, this is where you can actually download the wallet I did for Windows, which was super easy, but it was super basic. So I'm I'm excited for this upgraded wallet. Hopefully, it has a better better look, better feel. I can actually show it real fast. Okay, I download it. See, it's super basic. Send coins, receive coins. Super easy. This definitely needs an upgrade. Like, I, I wouldn't put my money in this right now. Also, this is a proof of stake coin. So, if you hold it for a year, you will be able to increase your stake by 4%, which is always a positive. If you look at the chart, 18.5. So it's under 5,000 sats. This is what I'm 100% happy with buying. Anything under 5,000 sats I think is great. Their all-time high was around 12,000 sats. That is over two times gain. It's a good chunk for me. I, uh, I expect this to pop if it's able to get on a bigger exchange. Right now it's on Cryptopia and Coin Exchange. I actually like Cryptopia better. It's also on Yobit. Hopefully this can get on some kind of big exchange and actually get the needed volume once it does. Every time it has an update, it, sh it should have a nice push. My next coin is NEO. NEO is the first blockchain platform built specifically for Chinese developers and is positioned to become the main blockchain for these developers. <clears throat> of course, with all the FUD going on in China, this is the perfect time to invest if and only if you believe in this project. So I personally believe that China will do what they always do and push out the big players and, and find something that they can use as their own. China has, I believe it's like Baidu instead of Google, Alibaba instead of Amazon, WeChat instead of Facebook, uh, something else instead of Apple. It's like Huawei, I'm not even sure. <laughs> so I fully expect Neo to be adopted by China instead of Ethereum, the blockchain space is just way too important for them to just ignore it. And NEO was created to work with the governments, not against it. They are wanting to create a platform that houses all of China's digital goods. Now, NEO's website is, is beautiful. I mean, if you go through this, it's one of the best websites I've seen in, in this space. We all know their team is good. Uh, they have everything set up to, to be a great company. Everybody has huge, well, I mean, before all the FUD, Neo was just 
just going crazy. Everybody wanted to invest in it. Now is the time. If you go to their charts, right now, NEO has actually jumped a lot from this morning when I was, or was it this morning? Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday was at $17. I was wanting to jump in, or 19 Yeah, $19. So Neo's at $25, so it's just kind of annoying for my video that it's already jumped up to 25 because 25 is pretty much well, around 600,000 Satoshi, so it's a little above what I'm wanting to jump in at. Uh, my, my personal mark is 600,000 sats, which is about $22. That that kind of pushes to my my max buy on Neo. I I'm hoping it comes back down. We'll see if it is. I'm I'm gonna jump in with Neo. This leads me to my next and final coin, gas. Since I'm super bullish on Neo, I'm also super bullish on gas. So just like Ether is used to pay fees for Ethereum, gas is used to pay NEO's fees. Anyone wanting to use the NEO blockchain must pay a fee in gas. So the more the NEO network is used, the more gas is required. Therefore, since I believe in NEO, it makes perfect sense for me to invest in gas. Gas has a fairly big jump recently, which again is super annoying because Literally yesterday, I was looking at this at fourteen dollars when I was going to make the video, but I was just too tired. And a couple days ago, on the twenty-first, it was eight dollars. So this this one, their all-time high isn't that high actually. It's about thirty-five dollars, about a hundred. Actually, it's like it's all-time high right now in terms of market cap. Yeah, a little over two hundred million. So right now, I wouldn't buy. But this coin, I believe, is going to jump like crazy the mar the circulating supply is under 9 million i think ethereum has what 97 million or something 95 million so of course sense of all the fud and china hasn't really adopted this yet once it does this one will s will just shoot i'm looking to buy under 600,000 sats now so i would actually buy right now if i had extra money i don't I think this one has a huge future. It's going to rock it once China figures it all out. I 100% I, I recommend this one. This one you can buy on Poloniex and Binance. Also, Neo, I like to buy on Bitrix. If I can buy it on Bitrix, uh, I do. Poloniex is probably my second exchange I like. So this one. Also, I don't have 0x on here, but I love 0x. I just bought uh, a huge chunk about, yeah, a huge chunk earlier. This coin, it's not in my top three for October because this one's a long-term coin, but I always think buying 0x is a good good opportunity if it's under like 5,000 sats. If it's under 5,000 sats, go jump in on it. So these are my three coins. I'm looking to buy ASAP. Obviously, No Limit Coin has some big things happening in October, which is why I'm excited for this coin. Granted, we're kind of in this bear market. Even though it has these updates, it could still go down. Neo and gas, they don't really have anything specific coming in October unless I'm just missing it and uh, I didn't see that. But they have a super bright future with China. Once China gets their stuff together, it's just going to just rock it. So I really recommend getting on as soon as possible around 600 sats for both. That's my personal, personal uh, goal. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please let me know and also like and subscribe. See you next time.